What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more. And in this one, I'm gonna go over exactly on some reasons why I hate to group ride. I am still practicing my wheelies I have to master the rear brake control and I have to stop blimping the throttle, which is this. I have to stop doing that. But that's not the part of the video. I'm gonna be showing you guys two crazy clips that I caught on camera when I was group riding with some friends. The first reason why I hate group rides. If you just started riding motorcycles, you should not try and join a group ride. Group rides are crazy. I don't mean that you might be crazy, but other people will be crazy. I can guarantee you that. It's just like a dog park. It's an uncontrolled environment. You can't control what's going on. You can't control the dude right in front of you. If he falls and he lands right in front of your tire, you're gonna eat shit. Before you even consider group riding, make sure you know your bike, make sure you know how to ride, make sure you know how to panic brake. Just make sure there's no car behind you or else you're gonna die. Learning how to panic brake is one of a rider's most important abilities. Even in traffic, if there's a red and a car stops in front of you, you have to be able to panic stop. Panic brake as often as you can. If your bike has ABS, it's way better. You will be able to stop without locking up your tire. This thing does not have ABS. If your bike doesn't have ABS, your rear tire is gonna lock up and it's gonna skid everywhere like a little fish. I don't know how fast we're going. We're probably going like 35. Let's panic brake. The fastest way to brake will be to downshift at the same time. Beginners might have difficulty synchronizing all those actions, so just practice your braking. One of the reasons why I really do enjoy group rides is it makes awesome footage. <laughs> oh, back shot. Oh, you like when I laugh, baby? Did I turn you on? I'm sorry. First of all, let me say this. Fuck A31 bikers, you guys can suck my dick and fuck all your squad. This was a meet, so check this video out. An R6 crashes. I caught gravel. Go. I'm gonna stay next to my friend. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. with the dual sport. You can't fucking keep up with everyone. That's a really good example of an uncontrolled environment. You can't control what's going on around you. Whereas if you're alone, you have slightly more control. That doesn't mean you have control over the cars. If you are planning to group ride, you have to be able to read traffic. More importantly, the riders you're riding with. Check your rear view mirrors very often. Hey, shut up, dog. You want to know what's behind you the whole time. Even when you're driving a car, you should always check your rear view mirror. It's really important to know what's behind you. If you do need a panic brake, you don't want a panic brake when there's someone directly behind you or else you'll just endanger both of you guys but i think my bike needs a checkup it most definitely needs coolant this thing is like one inch on coolant fourth gear If you join a group ride, I can almost guarantee you that you will be breaking the law. People will either be speeding, popping wheelies, 
or swerving in and out of traffic. All those things are breaking the law. Doesn't mean that you will be the one doing it, but since you are in a group, you do have to stay with the group, which most likely will mean you will be speeding. Here's another clip I have. Now this is with my coworkers. Shouts out my old coworkers. You guys are my dear friends. Like I said, fuck 831 bikers. Y'all ride more dick than that guy right there. Bang! Fire back. heading home i was the one all the way in the back that was on the ninja 500 i was the one all the way in the back the cop just nudges at me he goes out like oh well i'm wearing the helmet i have right now which is a freaking clown helmet only thing going through my mind was i hope i don't get pulled over whenever anything happens to a biker in a group ride the best thing you guys can do pull over to the first exit you guys see so after we pulled over waited for him he did pull up right behind us. He told me that the cop was actually going to give me a ticket until he saw the lead person, which is the person in the front, lane splitting. If you guys don't know what lane splitting is, it's only legal in California. It's where you go in between traffic, in between lanes. So he noticed him lane splitting. He pulled him over and he gave him a fat ass ticket for speeding. I think he was going like 90 something. As far as my driving record, I only have one ticket it i got in my car he marked me at 80 in a 70 i think so it wasn't that bad it was the least amount i could pay it actually was by a motorcycle cop as well motorcycle cops are the ones you have to worry about they're really hard to spot another reason i highly don't enjoy group rides is because the drz 400 which is this bike right here which is considered a dual sport is extremely slow it is very torquey you could be pretty fast in the city but as soon as you hit the highway you'll just be revving out the engine can be extremely fun that was balance point to the max if i was to recommend going on a group ride i would recommend just going with a couple friends if you're one of those hell angels those biker gangs that like to ride 30 plus that's cool too i've never been to a motorcycle meet with 30 plus people attending the ride of the century that would be really insane i would get some really good footage if you want to learn how to do wheelies the best gear to start is always second gear unless you're like on a grom or something That was third gear. The same co-workers I mentioned, they did go with me to go buy this bike. I bought it off of Craigslist for $3,200. It was completely stock. It is no longer stock. I have done a couple modifications. I hope you guys are enjoying the view. We're at the mountains right now. Some of you guys have been requesting to make moto vlogs. What's up, cow? This is the same area where I brought crypto running. So I brought my dog all the way over here. I rode my bike 20 miles while my dog ran next to me. The name of this motorcycle is Bitch or Female Dog, whichever you prefer. If you guys would like to follow me on Snapchat, feel free. It's the same as my YouTube, KZE underscore production. Booty pics will be posted. Snapchat's probably the best way for you guys to contact me. This thing probably weighs around 300 something pounds. Would you just look at that? I'm gonna go over all the mods that I have on this bike. The first mod you might be able to notice is this fruit punch turbo right here. Both broken turn signals, just the rear. Oh no, also the front. My speedo doesn't work. That's because my speed cable is shorter than an Asian dude's dick. I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. The name of this bike is Bitch. I did install skateboard axle sliders, so all that does is protect it if it was to fall. It does have handguards off of eBay. 
levers these levers are off of ebay as well these are just bar end mirrors they go at the end but i removed the ball and i put them on the handlebars a service front fender the throttle grips are aftermarket it does have an r6 throttle tube so all that does is give it a shorter turn I'm giving it more throttle without twisting that much throttle. In other words, easier wheelies. One tooth bigger rear sprocket. More torque makes it worse on the highway. I need rear brakes and front brakes. I can't feel my rear brake at all at this point. I did rejet this thing. I did the JD jet kit, I believe. It has a stock exhaust. I just removed the baffle, so it makes it slightly louder as well as give it more airflow. It needs the exhaust. It needs the cold air intake and it would need to be rejet again if I want this bike to be at its full potential. Could wheelie in fourth gear, so I'm I'm happy about that. That's pretty much it on the bike. Oh shit. This is really loose. It's looser than a private escort's goody hole. That's just a little quick walk around on the bike. It's a DRZ 400S. Hope you guys enjoyed this moto vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace.